July 3rd, my brother, we were coming up to Kenny Bunk to go to a party. Um, my brother and a friend of mine was in the car in front of us and they hit a guardrail, ejected, both uh, dead on impact. From there, we drove to the, uh, back to the barn alley for a very short time. I tried uh, getting a hold of Mary. Again, no cell phones, regular phones. I had to call my father, obviously, to tell him what happened. You know, um, called my mother. Mary came down. I don't know, if she wasn't with Booth. It was just Mary, and we, we kind of hung out, and that was July 3rd. So then we went back to uh, the Mahoney house. Mary didn't stay with me that, that night, like a lot of people think. It was getting late, and Mr. Mahoney said, I'll drive Mary home. And so, you know, we kissed goodbye, and Mr. Ma Mr. Mahoney drove her home. Uh, the next morning, we got up, and then we all went to a church up in Kenny Bunkport that overlooks the ocean. I called Mary, and she was there. They were having some type of family get-together. Now it's July 4th. I drove over there, and it's even her, her mother gave me a big hug, big kiss. And me and Mary just sat outside talking for a little bit. I forget how we ended it. I just remember outside, we're just hugging, kissing, crying. And then, you know, drove back. Back to the house when we all left. I was going to call Mary that night or the next night, you know, tell her, funeral arrangements. Oh, so that was the fourth, fifth, maybe the sixth? And she was gonna come down the next morning. And my uncle had flown in from Florida. He worked for Eastern Airlines at the time. And he was like, after this, I wanna take you down. You know, you need to get away. Right after my brother's wake and funeral, I think I was gone the next day. If I remember right, the next thing you know, I'm, I'm in Florida. I'm in Fort Lauderdale. I think it was the next morning. Phone rang, and I remember Uncle taking, we were sitting near each other, and the phone rang, and he said, hang on. And he told his wife, I'm going to get this in the other room, hang that phone up. So, you know, they did that. And uh, he come out a little bit later. And uh, what he said stuck with me for, it still does. Now this is, you know, somebody who I respect and just, you know, veteran, just everything. And he just looked at me and goes, you know, you know, sometimes life sucks, but you gotta suck it up. You can't let it beat you. And he told me what happened. He goes, come on, let's go to the airport. You gotta get home. My father picked me up at Logan and uh, he drove me right up here, right to the bowling alley. And I remember getting out. <clears throat> I got out of the car at the bowling alley, and my buddy Mike comes out, and I just looked at him, I said, where is she? And, uh, he said, she's up at Bieber. I'm like, oh. And I don't know what happened after that. 